bitch will check it up and check it out. Now, this is further proof that it ain't over until a fat boy actually eats his uh, wing stop. Now, if you guys don't know, man, 50 Cent and Rick Ross been going back and forth. Uh, 50 Cent put out a sex tape of Rick Ross' baby mama. God damn it. Imagine seeing your baby mama getting fucked on an ashy leather couch by a New York nigga with a faded Timberland boot and, of course, like a loose do-rag, okay? I mean, it was traumatizing. It was traumatizing for me because it wasn't a pretty sight. It was definitely traumatizing for her. Because she got to live through it every day. Now, when she took 50 Cent to court for that, basically the judge awarded her $7 million. Now, 50 Cent was trying to stall. 50 Cent eventually filed bankruptcy, which we all know he's trying to get out of that motherfucking case. But the judge in the civil case said, yo, you're going to have to pay Shorty $7 million. Okay, five was for, like, um, compensatory, and uh, two million was for punitive damages. And basically, 50 had to pay that shit, right? Now, 55 bankruptcy, and eventually in bankruptcy court, he kind of came to a settlement where he was going to pay 90%, which is about like six point something million over five years. So he basically got a payment plan, okay? Now, the payment plan is cool. So if you don't realize what's going on, 50 is trying to chop it down, down, down. Um, originally, he had to pay seven in total. Now it's like six over five years, but he wants it even lower. He filed documents in court three days ago, and basically, uh, thanks to Jasmine Brand, who pulled all these documents, he's stating that Lestonia Levinston only deserves about $4 million. She doesn't deserve seven, and he's saying that some of the judgment was excessive, given his current financial state. Now that the, the bankruptcy court has actually stamped him as a nigga who's bankrupt, he's going back to the other court to say, hey, why did y'all even really give that judgment in the first place? Because I'm really broke. Because at first, when financial documents were presented in the case with Lestonia Leviston, they thought he had a lot of money. They weren't really taking into account his debts. Now, after seeing this, and of course, one of his debts is Rick Ross' baby mama, but after seeing what happened in bankruptcy court, he's trying to look back to that judge to say, hey, could you lower it? Now, he's saying, right, and he's trying to get them to lower it down to $4 million. Maybe he could finesse it where he pays $4 million over five years, and even then he probably won't stop. So 50 Cent is a nigga. He ain't going to stop, man. He's going to keep at it, and maybe he was right when he said uh, he will do every and anything not to pay this chick, okay, because he's definitely still fighting it. And, I mean, even though the lawyers are getting paid, I think he'd rather pay everybody but Rick Ross, baby mama. So I'll keep you guys updated, but he's asked the court, the original court, the civil court, to look back into this judgment and actually proceed with the case that they don't have to settle or nothing like that, that they basically could uh, lower the judgment to $4 million instead of seven. That's uh, that's crazy, but 50 could do it, okay? Get a comment. I suppose you guys like that. If you subscribe, should 50 just pay, man? Is he a cheap-ass nigga, or is he doing the right thing? I mean, uh, to me, again, I can't say this is a win, but he's trying to make the best of a bad situation. Get a comment box. Make sure you guys like. Definitely subscribe to Jackie Demix. I'm out.